I should have asked more for help, but I didn't. I didn't want to bother anybody. I didn't know what help I needed. It was so new to me. I had never been around anybody that had an illness, had an injury like I was facing. And I did need to reach out more. And even if people would ask me, I would say, oh no, I'm Traumatic brain fine. injury recovery. My husband was injured in 2008 and it was a slip and fall. My husband is a physician and was gone many, many hours during the day. We had a lot of outside activities. We loved to play tennis together. He had a mild traumatic brain injury, mm -hmm. but to me, it was horrible. When you hear the word mild, you think, or I did at least, that it was very small in manner and that he would recover very, very quickly and we would be back to our normal life. I figured in 30 days. It was a scary, scary time in our life. It affected my husband. That was the last day he ever went back to work. We were all very, very frightened. We did not know what to do. I did not know what path to take. I didn't know how to help him. It was just a very, very panicky time. We didn't know from day to day how my husband was. Every day was very different. We had days of anger. We had days of crying. Extreme tiredness to the point where he could barely get up in the morning and would need to go back to bed financially. What was going to happen if he was never going to work again? What were we going to do? I had been a stay at home mom. That was our plan before we even had children mm -hmm. that he would provide. And I was very involved in my children's life. And I didn't have education to go and find a job that would be able to sustain our household, especially for the first maybe four years, five years. I completely took over the role of the provider for everybody, the caretaker, the confidant. We did not have a marriage as we were. That marriage was completely gone. I had to completely learn how to live with my husband all over again. My husband was always very easygoing, funny, laid back always took control of our life. I really didn't have to ever worry about anything because I used to always say, my husband will take care of it. Mm -hmm. Even with our children, my husband will take care of it. Mm -hmm. And he couldn't anymore. I'm trying to take care of my husband and trying to find the best care for him. And I think my children were kind of put to the side a little. I was very alone. Very alone. I was Good. very alone. And every day I just kept putting one foot in front of the other. I had many breakdowns in my closet. I cried a lot, but I always did it by myself. I never wanted to upset my husband and let him know that I was scared or worried because then that would just put it into a full blown panic attack for him. In the meantime, I forgot about myself. A big thing that if I could get out to any caregivers, you have to take time for yourself. You cannot run on your energy 24 seven. You need to eat well, sleep well, exercise. And in my case, the best thing I have done is I had to go to therapy for myself. One thing that sticks out is because of how I thought I was going to take on this role and be the power woman, I completely took over everything in my husband's life. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was easier for me to pay bills, make phone calls, took on every task because I felt that if I asked him to do something, first of all, he struggled with it. 
I think it would have made him feel more important. I found a wonderful doctor and she has helped me out a lot. And she just said, Lisa, if you don't start taking care of yourself and find out what you love to do in life, you are going to be stuck and nothing good is going to come out of this. Please like, subscribe, and comment on this video.